culture, it's Marlin history. It's well for us these are very important. We want to find out who we are, where we came from, what are our values? Do they speak to us today? Does it have relevance, you know, to some of the problems that we have? But significantly in scientific terms, there are now considerable contributions on what people find in archaeological digs that would help, you know, the uh, research into areas like DNA, I'm quite sure several other areas as well. I think that this exercise has great meaning. I think that if we delve into it more deeply, we will find that what is there can speak to us very powerfully, very meaningfully. And uh, I believe that this could be a considerable contribution, not only to us, but to future generations. And we should not miss the opportunity to make the most of what is on the face of it. A heritage that belongs not only to us Samoans, but to the whole Polynesian nation. Hibi, <coughs>
Kataka 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 Tamotoi Eka Pokita Fetu Eka Pokita Marama Eka Pokita Tako Takura Kura Koriro Naye Tere atu te oeru a e Ki te tihi kahuraki o araki e O koe te toto oeru a e Takata utu he takata ora e Neo koe oe atu i roto i te oe ora e Ki te he tiraka tirariki o te iwi e Teke te wā nā ka e Te tohu o te a tākura e I o tapa mai rā koe ko he mai Ko wāhi wa ko mauna ko tu i atua Ko le marei I kuru mai ka whakamau a ka tīna Tēna haumi e hui e tāi
is a religious term. It is ritualistic from the context of worship. It had been proven beyond any doubt that wherever man was found, there was a sort of religion that he had adhered to. There was a kind of belief that he had closely followed. And wherever such belief had existed, there was always a rite of sacrifice that goes hand in hand with religion. There are special officials being specifically ordained to offer such sacrifices. And there are specified holy places dignified for such sacrifices rites, as we are here in this very place. O te hau mā ko te hau muri, ko te hau tamawahine, ko te hau tamatāne, 
Tu mai rā te toko toko a tāne nui āraki. Ui a wairea ka hurarā ka takata atai. Me tūraki atu a takata ki uta. Ka hurarā ka takata ki uta me tūraki atu a takata ki tai. Ko tū koroko. Mai e, mai e mai te tipua. Mai e, mai e mai te tapito. I haro mai rā koe i a pako hotu nuku i a pako hotu raki. O tau manawa ko tōku manawa ko tāne karihia. Tuturu mai kia whakamau a ka tīna, tīna. Haumi e, hui e, taiki e. I te kōrero o te whare wāna ka pūtaka taka pūā pi o te mara maha nui. Papa ki tū ana ka taiki te reka. Ka pō, ka ā, ka watea. Ti he mauri ora, ti he uri uri, ti he nako nako. Ka tau hā, whakatau, ka te raki ruka nei. Ka tau hā, whakatau, ka te papa e raro nei. Ka tau hā, whakatau, ka te mātuku mai e raro toka. Ko i aro ke he mana wa pau roto, ko i aro ke he mana wa pau oho. Pua ka tīna, ka tīna te more Hawaiki. He pūpū ana hoki, he wau ana hoki. Tāre wā tūki te raki. Whānō, whānō, haramai te tōki. Haumi e, hui e, taiki e. Ole a fai e pe lauli le la unga Samoa. Le a ka oko pa i o le malai mele kua i vailoa. Me nga ka fai e le a ka oko le fa Samoa o le la unga. A le a ngai sao. I le nga 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 i ngai mala malama i la te onei mei polen sia. We all do respect Samoa. And all who are gathered here today, from the crimson dice of Tuimanua to the dark dice of Nafanua, I am lost with words to describe the importance of the occasion today. I speak of the definite dignities that was beheaded by the legends of a vow. These are the dignities that are protected by my law below me. If the significant theories are indeed correct, then if I might add the strong <coughs> tutors that you see have today, later because Later, 
we came here today, pigeons sharing mouths, Lali Fano, the Valley Valley and the Little Mayava, the tea free forever, for pairs of my Lord Baloli, and those that we keep close do our heart. I speak not behalf on Samoa. I speak on behalf of something bigger. I speak on behalf of the four pairs of Savoy, Hawaii, and Hawaii. Today is the morning of the family, the morning of the womb, the morning of the beginning. Whose family? The family of Tangaloa Langi, whose emblem in the octopus and whose sacred number is eight. Whose womb? The womb who gave birth to the fisherman who first out of the Moana, or who of Hawaii. He is Maui of Hauteroa and Vanuatu of Vanuatu. Why beginning? It is from this tier or Mount World the Fenonga began the Fenonga of Savai in Samoa, the Fenonga of Hawaii, the Fenonga of Hawaii. It is from this tier or Mount that our forebears consulted the sun, the star, the moon, the wind, the ocean. There is what is our destiny, and they were directed to travel the ocean and seek new land where they will live and increase like the children of Abraham, where they will disemulate the stories of the origin, their struggles, and the reference for their values and their vision. This is the reason that for no one share common values and a common vision. This is the reason there is a common reference in the fables and the lullabies, the story of origin which shows <laughs> and nurture the children of Hawaii, Tahiti, Aotearoa, and Savai in Samoa. Why? Because we have a common beginning. Governments come and go. Material things pass like the wind, but a common sense endures. Why? Because they form the stories with soft babies and nurtured the young. It is our common reference for our chance and rituals. Peace are rooted in our birthright. Our rise to the land, the surrounding sea, and the sky above. The land is mined by birthright. The surrounding sea is mined by birthright. The heaven above my land is mined by birthright. This is the message which originates from the forefanger or the beginning. We are not there to worship stone or a mount of stone. We are here to celebrate a great heritage from our forebears. The heritage with bone, the mouth of the message, the heritage which inspired our people to seek land, populate them, and disseminate our values and our vision. It is said in the correct book that there are moments when the children of Israel will be dispersed. And there are moments where they come together. Today is the morning, is the coming together. It is a coming together of the Ahinga. The family, the Fanau, the children, the Tino, the Toto the body, the toto, the blood, who originates from a common womb. Our forebears are looking on. They speak to my heart, and they speak to yours. 
They are celebrating in the way they know how in Langi and Brotu. There is Haka, there is Hula, there is Maululu, there is Laka Laka, and there is Meke. Why are, so, are they so joyful? Because the Fanonga have come together, and certainly there will be more coming together. These are my words about the sense of this morning. Now I turn to thank you. I want to thank the late for Hayadol, whose widow, I'm happy to say, is here with us for his vision and commitment. I want to mention specifically the Contiki Museum the University of ANU in Australia and the University of Auckland in New Zealand. I want to mention particularly a daughter of Samoa, Tautala of Auckland University, who is a dad to the Pulamele archaeological work. I want to recognize the four parents of the archaeological team in making allowances for our cultural requirements. I want to thank the Prime Minister and Cabinet, and especially the Chairman of TAP Board for the fi financial assistance implicit in this support in an important message. The archaeological work on Pula Malay transcends party and politics. In fact, it transcends the boundaries of Samoa because it is about the cultural heritage of the Polynesian nation. I want to thank especially Manuel Roa, Maori Gray, and Wari Campbell from Aotearoa representing West Polynesian. Your presence underlines a very special point. This money does not belong exclusively to Samoa. This is a money which belongs to the Polynesian nation. Your presence speaks emphatically about this and just as significantly about the promise and prophets of future in terms terms of a connection festival which will include representatives from others of our Polynesian king. On behalf of the government, the people and the company, I invite the Polynesian nation to come to Pula and celebrate our common holidays in a time that the gods designate. I want in conclusion to thank Pastor of my law for that Auranga. Let us hope that God will, that will hear your prayers and speak to our hearts, our minds, and our souls about the significance and the reverence of the mission of the Fafanga. May God guide the values and vision of Peloli, and may God be with you, you all, so for.